Welcome back to our coverage of the Nova Scotia Under-18 Major Hockey League. I've got James Frazier joining me right now. James played for the Max back 91-92. And I tell you what, James, you were uh, one of the first one of the first black players to play for the Halifax McDonald's. First off, I need I need your thoughts on this this period here, man. It's been pretty yeah, good. Yeah, I was speaking to you prior to the game. I want to say thank you for having me first and foremost. Um, McDonald's are keeping the game pretty competitive. You mentioned that Dartmouth is 26. 26 they haven't lost in 26 regulation, games. Regulation, yeah. Really close game. The Max are hanging in. So maybe I'm bringing some good luck to them tonight. Maybe I am. <laughs> You've got, well, I tell you, <laughs> you were a trailblazer with U18 hockey, especially, you know, th- there was not a lot of players' color back in those days. Seeing the diversity of the game now, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel like we're stepping in the right direction, but still a lot to be done, as you know, Mavs. And, you know, with Black History Month being here now and present and watching, I watched Black Guys the other day and still seeing stuff that happened to me, still happening now. But, yeah, I guess it's in the right direction. The game could do a little bit more. But, you know, I guess we're, we're still striving to be better and more inclusive, um, but still a long ways to go. When you still think, a long ways to go. When you think back at those of those days... 91, 92, you, you had an A on your chest. You were a leader in these rooms. What are some of your favorite memories from playing with the Max? See, the favorite memories was the first year I played, the 90, 91 season, and probably the best hockey team I played for. We won the league that year. Um, and, and it was a really good year because it was the first time I played with guys who I didn't grow up playing with, guys from all around the city. And we all had a collective you know, agreement with each other to, to work hard to support each other and again we won league that year i think we finished the league like 24 2 and 2 that year go on to the atlantics tournaments and uh we chance to win the air canada cup that's a whole nother story for a whole different day but yeah it, it was a really good season um a lot of memories a lot of fun road trips and i got Darren jennings here up in the crowd one of my old teammates here he came to support me tonight he was a teammate for both of my seasons here with the max and, uh, yeah, just glad to have my best buddy here, Tommy, my brother, and my other brother, Chris. So, yeah, but that, that was what, probably one of my funnest years playing. Um, again, a lot of memories here in this very same barn. And, uh, yeah, it kind of bring back the memories and wants me to get out there. I feel like getting out there now, actually. I mean, we've, we've got the memories here on the screen that are going to come up. I mean, right there. That Now, let's... Let's just take a second. We, we talked about the A, but we got to talk about this haircut. I mean, maybe a little house party on the go? A little house party <laughs> on the go. That the was go? a year of the house party <laughs> movies. Kid and play. No doubt about it. But then we talk about, again, this team that you have here. When the puck drops, everyone's all for, yeah. all for that McDonald's yeah, logo. Yeah, we were all for the McDonald's logo. And, again, we had a good a good group of guys. And, like I said, our goal from day one was, was to come and win league. You know, and... From our captains, Casey and James Bugden, to Derek Jennings, to our coaching staff, to our goalies. Everyone played their part. Everyone played their part. We have four lines working. And, and then, on to, again, the Max, you guys always have the best jackets in the league. Yeah. You know what's funny? I still have my Max jacket, too. Yeah? I actually still have it at home. I tried it on. It's a little bit tight, but I still have that same Max jacket. Uh, I do. Uh, James, we were talking a bit off air about how much in touch you are with local sport how how big has local sport been in your upbringing and making you who you are today local sport is huge for me local sport is so different now too Mavs um, now kids play hockey year round but with me my summer was baseball I didn't skate in the summer but it kind of gave me the understanding that kind of give myself a break from hockey but now I know kids are doing it year round. But yeah, sports for me was 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 huge. I grew up street hockey on the street and wall ball, and always always loved playing other sports, and kind of molded me into you know the person who I am today. Teamwork, leadership, fighting for one another. So it kind of molded me into who I am today. James, I appreciate taking the time. My friend, it was great Thank to meet you. you. Thank and you we'll be seeing you around the rinks and around the You're ball very fields. Welcome. Thank you. All right, stick with us. We're going to have the second period coming up after the break. Beautiful shot of downtown Halifax. We sail in to the next stanza here of U18 Major Hockey League.